All right, it is insanely hot out here, but um, getting ready, as you can see in the background, to go do some camping. I'm gonna do a walkthrough, but first of all, I wanted to say hi to two of the coolest girls in the entire world, Micah and Vera. I hope you guys are getting ready to have a fantastic weekend, and I hope to see you guys soon. Anyways, let's get back to the van here, or to the trailer. Um, as you can see, I've got my Crocs on. Yes, those are Crocs. And, uh, all my gear packed in here and we'll just do a walk around and kind of show you guys um, what it all looks like got the Thule racks on top um, it's a trailer Jeep it's got a 2.5 inch lift you can kind of see that if I zoom in here um, that's just an AEV kit I got the Smitty build winch right here and uh, a factory steel bumper on that and it's uh, line next, just in case you're wondering why it looks like that. Um, there's the rest of the Jeep. And over here, I've got a one mount hitch, 14,000 pound, which of course I don't need that much because the Jeep doesn't tow that much, but I like the fact that it's adjustable and I can make sure that my trailer is level. So that's pretty cool right there. And this is what it looks like on the side. And this is from the back. Okay, so let's take a look inside, kind of see what kind of packing job I did here. Not the world's greatest packer, but as you can see, not too bad at all. I've got the REI sleeping bags up there. I got pillows on the other side. I've got the Renogy 200 watt solar panel. Um, that's uh, what do you call it? Inflatable. Uh, raft or paddle board and I've got my screen house in here underneath I got all the milk crates and in there I've got my uh, I've got dog food I've got some clothes and that kind of stuff and then over here a rigid toolbox um, another container here just from Home Depot with odds and ends in there and uh, sorry about that background noise I, I think it's getting louder and louder but I got some water over here. I always carry extra water because I don't actually drink the water in RV tanks, you know. And in here I got a bunch of tech, some radios and whatever else not. Over here I usually have the Dometic here, but I took that out in favor of uh, a slightly bigger uh, Thetford. I think that's how you say that, 565E, that are going with a couple of other people. So just needed more uh, capacity. So I'll do a review on that. I've actually, yeah, I'll do a review on that sometime, actually, just to kind of show you the difference between the two. Uh, over here, I've got a Mountain Summit table from REI. This is a pretty cool table. This is a heavy duty, uh, large one. I've got uh, some uh, camp chairs right there, propane tanks in there, those green bottles. Um, I'm looking to convert from those or get an adapter to my actual regular tanks. But uh, some kitchen supplies in this crate and then uh, odds and ends in that, some cooking supplies and my pots and whatever else not are in there. And uh, that's that Dometic CFX 650 right there, or <laughs> CFX 55 right there. And uh, that's about it. That's what it looks like. Honestly, there's tons of room in here. I didn't even try to pack. Like somebody who's good at packing would probably do a way better job than this and end up with a better product. But I didn't even try, and this is what this is how it turned out. So um, I'm going to end this and uh, try to get on the road before it gets any later than what it already is right now. So I'm hoping you guys have uh, nice weekends of yourselves, of your own. All right. So that's about it, guys. I'm going to get on the road. It's kind of getting late already as it is, and I barely had enough time to do this. So peace.